Through ever-emerging new technologies, cross-disciplinary collaborations, and a wider variety of foods coming to the market every year, we will definitely see a lot of foods and food trends that are hard to predict. Discover the foods of tomorrow, inspire others to make a change, and become aware of the challenges our world is facing. This is what you will be eating by 2050. This is my fix of tech, bringing you the hottest tech innovation straight to your screens. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And of course, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself up to date. Insects. Now before you open your mouth, you first need to open your mind. Insects are an abundant source of low-fat protein, and we should be eating them right now. You might be thinking, hell no! And I agree, to be honest, this food definitely takes some getting used to. But the fact is, many insects, including mealworms and crickets, are incredibly rich in nutrients. Many insects are high in protein, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. Some edible insects, like crickets and mealworms, contain all the essential amino acids that are necessary to rebuild the muscles and tissues in our bodies. Also, this delicious superfood has a lot of promising implementations. Already now, you can buy pasta, energy bars, pate, snacks, and other products enriched with edible insects. When prepared properly, insects can taste very good. If you'd like to make your own foods with insects, definitely check out these recipes for inspiration. Worldwide, a wide range of insect species are considered delicacies. Although there are many benefits of eating insects, in the West, entomophagy is still considered taboo, and this won't change overnight. It will take several years until we will see broader acceptance. However, in the past two years, I've been witnessing a big change. GMO there are millions of people who believe that the development of GMO brings worse than good. But before we jump into a conclusion and rise our guards, COME AND GET THEM! It's important to get a better understanding of what GMOs are, and what are the cons and pros of gene modification. From day to day, insects are becoming more and more mainstream, and hopefully one day after enough exposure, we won't see eating insects as a weird practice anymore. To be honest, GMOs have been around for thousands of years. Selective breeding allowed us to pass on desired genes to the next generation, making the genes become more pronounced. GMOs can help us develop food with higher levels of nutrients, that taste better, and can help in fighting malnutrition. Fruits with more antioxidants that will help our bodies fight diseases, and plants that are resistant to climate change. GMOs as a technology is actually an ally and not an enemy in that fight, helping to save and protect nature and minimize our impact on the environment. We believe that in the future, we will definitely see more and more GM foods. Synthanol Humans have been imbibing alcohol for at least 9,000 years, and we're not about to let a silly debilitating hangover stop us from another glass of Oog's finest. But scientists are working on nipping alcohol's after effects and just plain effects in the bud. A drug that produces the same effects as alcohol, but without nasty side effects like liver damage and hangovers. Consumers can immediately sober up by swallowing an antidote, a feature that could make drunk driving a thing of the past. The prospect of a hangover-free buzz is tantalizing, but there's something scary about the notion of using a serious psychotropic medication as an everyday social lubricant. Also, we have a sneaking suspicion government regulations are going to be all over this. Dr. David Nutt, the drug's lead developer, is in the process of looking for investors and hopes to start clinical trials in the next year or so. Lab-grown meat. You've probably seen this one already. In 2013, Dr. Mark Post presented a proof of concept for cultured meat. The first artificial burger was launched, and it popped up on almost everyone's newsfeed. The first lab-grown burger cost $325, but soon it might cost the same as regular meat. Last year, Dr. Post proclaimed that as soon as the year 2020, customers will be able to buy lab-grown burgers for $10 a piece. Oxford studies show lab-grown meat requires significantly less resources to produce. If you're curious about the taste, head over to YouTube and watch people try cultured meat. Most people say that the taste is good and that it does taste like meat. 
However, the texture still seems a little bit off. Everybody knows that there are a lot of skeptics out there who wouldn't want to eat this. To my surprise, people seem to be pretty open-minded about it. In the near future, you'll be able to choose between pork, beef, chicken, and fish. And apparently, according to Post, we can even cultivate healthy fatty acids. Meaning fake meat might become healthier than the real thing. Seaweeds Overfarming the soil robs vegetables of the vitamins and minerals we need. But you know what can't be overfarmed? Or at least not for a long time anyway, the ocean. And that's where we'll find sea vegetables, like arame, wakame, nori, dulce, and many, many others. All nutrients rich and all full of salty goodness. Better yet, its growing space has a small footprint, so sea vegetables can feed more people with less space than earthbound crops. That may be something worth diving into. I cannot stress this enough, but seaweed is a completely sustainable future food. Seaweed doesn't need soil, fresh water, and fertilizer. Again, what is not to love about these sea vegetables? Are you getting excited to try these unusual yet intriguing foods of the future? I'm only halfway through my list, and I can't wait to reveal this upcoming food where our sweat glands are involved. Perennial Plants On a list of innovative foods, perennial plants, plants that can grow for more than one year, might seem boring. But don't let your first impression fool you. First fact, they can play a huge role in fighting climate change. The less carbon there is in the soil, the more deceptive the land is to drought and erosion. Modern agriculture, bad farming practices, and unsustainable fertilizers are ruining the soil underneath. The goal for the future? Richer soil, less erosion, and less fertilizer washing into the water supply. We need to change the way we grow our foods and veggies. A nutrient-rich soil produces more nutrient-dense foods, and perennial plants play an incredibly important role in keeping your soil healthy. Hopefully, we will see more and more perennial plants in the future. Fungi and Mushrooms When you hear the word fungi, probably an image of a portabellus pops up in your mind. But fungi make a quarter of the world's biomass. It's hard to imagine that without fungi, our world wouldn't look the same. Without fungi, there would be no pizza, no bread, no beer, and probably you wouldn't exist either. Mushrooms and mycelium have been used in traditional Chinese medicine for a millennia. Nowadays, we're discovering implications for mushrooms and mycelium that we never thought of before. From building materials to footwear, clothing, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals and food, we're starting to use fungi everywhere. In all environments, fungi play an important role in the digestive systems. It can turn complex animal and plant matter into simple sugar and proteins. It can literally turn toxic waste like plastic into food. The use of fungi will reshape the world around us in the upcoming years, including the food industry. The demand for mushrooms is increasing, and so is the number of human innovations. Although we have been using fungi for millennia, there is still plenty of room for innovation. Plant-based meat with the help of science, plant-based meat is becoming almost indistinguishable from real meat. The reason why some innovative companies are creating plant-based meat is the same reason why lab-grown meat is being developed. Many people believe that meat is one of the most delicious foods in the world. Some would even argue that humans were designed to love meat. Nowadays, a huge number of people are eating meat on a daily basis. While only a few decades ago, meat was considered a luxury product. The taste and texture seems to satisfy something that's rooted deep down inside of us. The most important thing is, most people love meat, and the world's appetite for meat is increasing from year to year. However, the most common cattle farming methods are not sustainable, and they contribute to global warming. The meat industry emits more greenhouse gases than all ships, buses, trains, planes, and cars combined. Farming innovation, an ever-increasing demand for meat and a fight for cost leadership has directed the meat industry in the wrong direction. Of course, more sustainable methods do exist, but the problem is we're accustomed to a burger costing a dollar. And although our current meat industry is far from ideal, and many people are reducing their meat intake, most people are not going to stop eating meat completely unless there are alternatives that taste and feel just as good. Luckily, scientists and entrepreneurs have created incredible innovations. Veggies that bleed. Plant-based meat is something that almost nobody finds disgusting, and hopefully, we'll see more of this on the market. 3D Printed Food 
Imagine you're sitting with a couple of friends in the living room. Everyone had a glass of wine or two, and the chatter is getting louder with every minute. Suddenly, your friend's spoiled son yells that he is hungry and asking to print him a sandwich. Yeah, you heard right. While this seems like a bad sci-fi comedy, there are 3D printers that can print food. And yes, you can have one in your own home. In 2014, food designer Chloe Rutzerveld developed the concept for healthy and sustainable 3D printed snacks that sprout plants and mushrooms for flavor. The project was called Edible Growth, and it demonstrated how technology can be used to enhance natural growth. The printer could be used to shorten the food production chain drastically. Good things about this is that every year the technology is becoming cheaper and cheaper, and we have food companies that offer affordable 3D printers for domestic use of food. The ever-decreasing prices and availability of 3D printing technology will create room for incredible innovations. The cool part about 3D printed food is the fact that you can use a huge range of ingredients. Creativity is the only limitation, meaning it can be very healthy if we use nutritious ingredients. 3D printing still hasn't reached its full potential, and we will be witnessing these technologies' applications unfold, including the food industry. There is really nothing fresher than this. Sweat Thomas Edison famously said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Words that could well apply to a new machine prompted by UNICEF that turns human sweat into drinking water. The sweat machine extracts moisture from worn clothes by spinning and heating them, then filters the resulting liquid so that only pure water remains. So how does it work? Step 1. Take one sweat-soaked shirt and place it into the sweat machine. Step 2. Stand back as the machine extracts the shirt's moisture and to filter out impurities. Step 3. Drink up. It's pure water. UNICEF has no plans to mass-produce a sweat machine, especially when it's cheaper to disinfect unclean water with purification tablets. But this machine, according to developer Andreas Amar, is cheaper than the one used on international space stations that treat urine. With a filtration system like this, we can bring our own water supply with us everywhere we go. Which of these future foods are you excited to try? Share your answers by leaving a comment down below so we can talk about it within the first hour. Can't get enough of the future that is ahead of us? Find out in my related video, Transport of the Future, I will be sharing the concept of seamless mobility, where all modes of transportation are fully connected into a single integrated network of transportation modes. Stay connected, stay up to date.